the God of the Bible is just. Not like Allah, because when Muhammad did sex with a six, nine year old child, Allah told me to do. When he married more women, Allah told me to do. When he married his, when he is married daughter-in-law, his own daughter-in-law, Allah told me to do. Every time Allah told me to do, Allah told me to do, Allah, Allah told me to do. Unlike the God of Bible, the God of the Bible is just. Uh, the, because Muhammad Moses is mentioned in Quran, you are not follower of Moses. Are you not follower of Moses? No, I'm quoting Torah. I'm Torah. We don't follow the law. Thank you. Listen here. We don't follow the law of Moses. Thank you. Do you know who Zainab was to Muhammad He was his sister's wife, sister's daughter. Cousin, yeah. He was a cousin of Muhammad So thank you for agreeing you can marry your cousin also. Yes. Tomorrow your cousin tomorrow So you can marry your cousin, you can marry your daughter-in-law, and they don't have relation when you marry with them. Thank you. Listen, listen. You have a problem. David's wife was taken from David because David did a sin, but you don't have a problem. Muhammad took his own son's wife and slept with her. Ask, ask, Steve. Are you Christian ready for one? No, no. Go on, go on. Are you Christian ready? No, no, no. I have one question. Abbas, I have one question. No, no, you have many questions. I have one question. 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 Be honest here, brother. Wasn't been answering all the questions? No, no. You did tap dancing. You shut up. Tap dancing. You did tap dancing. I'm not going to change your questions. Tap dancing. I tried. Right or wrong? No. Can I ask you one question then? Mm. You question. No, you have to answer first. Shut up. Because you have asked hundreds of questions. You see, you see these Why Christians. Who, you can only scared. ask questions. Who is responsible for Christian faith? My question is about But I am talking to him. Question is, I am talking to him. I am talking to him. Your God is a moral God. He has morality. Yeah? God. Of course. Mm. And he's just. Now my question to you is. <clears throat> That in the in the story of uh, David and Bathsheba, and you like to answer this question as well. You said mm -hmm. okay. David commit adultery with Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now David, God says, mm -hmm. I will punish you. What God says, I will take your wives mm -hmm. and give it to the neighbor, mm -hmm. and your neighbor will do to them what you done in mm -hmm. secret. He will done in the open. Meaning. David but committed. Do you, do you Christians look no, at no, that no, 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 Wives of the David has to go and sleep with the neighbor when it was the David who committed adultery. It was, listen, it was the punishment given by God. This shows the God of the Bible is just because when David did adultery, even being a prophet, God punished David. Okay? Not like Allah when he says Muhammad. No, no, no. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. The God of the Bible is just. He do justice even with his prophet. If his prophet do sin, he punishes him. Not like Allah. Allah when he did Muhammad. Don't go to Islam. No, no I'm answer. showing you. I'm asking. I'm answering. Let, let me answer. I said the God of the Bible. See, no one listen. The God of the Bible is just. Not like Allah because when Muhammad did sex with a six, nine year old child, Child, Allah told me to do. When he married more women, Allah told me to do. When he married his, when he is married daughter-in-law, his own daughter-in-law, Allah told me to do. Every time Allah told me to do, Allah told me to do. Allah, Allah told me to. Unlike the God of Bible, the God of the Bible is just. Did Allah? Did Allah punish Muhammad? Brother, brother, listen. My question is, why God give wives of the David? To the because the God of the Bible was just. His answer is, look, Muhammad did that. No, 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 no. How oh, that is? You are not listening. Oh, the answer. Because, because the God of the Bible. What David did? Okay, what David did? The story, my said. brother. Listen. David because David the story, story. The David, he yeah. took his uh, friend's wife yeah. and he slept with her. Yeah, right. So God got anger. Listen, and we condemned it. We don't support it. Unlike you, you support a six-year marriage. Six-year marriage. No, no, no. Second time. Second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, where's his cross? Listen, listen. Yes, listen. He's a God is just. We don't want to see God is just. Why are you going to Jesus? Because when you go to Jesus, when you compare Jesus to Muhammad, you know what's going to happen. So you see what they did? No, no. Listen, no, no, no. I answer. No, you didn't. In Christianity, yeah. In Christian, let me answer. Let me answer. Let me. Justice is the one who done the sin should be punished. That's justice. Yes. He punished him. No, no. He punished David. David, David committed the sin huh? according to the law of Moses. Huh? Deuteronomy 22. Yeah, let him go. According, to the, law, according to the law of Moses. Yeah, 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 yeah. According to the law of Moses. And I'll let you on. Adulterer should be stoned to death. According to the law of Moses, adulterer should be stoned to death. Deuteronomy 22. <laughs> now David and Bathsheba committed adultery. The just, sins cast the, first stone. I'm talking, we I'm talking huh? right now. We brother, have Jesus. some courage. Let okay, me speak. Let him speak. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. according to the law of Moses, David and Bathsheba should be should be stoned to death. But God didn't do that. God, instead of that, God say his wife go and sleep with the neighbor. No, 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 no. God say. Let me explain. Let me explain. God, God. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. If you, I'm not, I'm not telling you. You answer. Okay, so basically, if you read through Second Samuel 12, for example, Second Samuel 12, right? You see clearly. That let me read. Let me read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Let me get the verse out. <laughs> Sorry, I, don't, I, I want to take my time with this. Uh, just, just excuse me. Second Samuel chapter twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going there. You don't have to worry. <laughs> All right. So if you read Second Samuel twelve, what does it say? Wherefore? So let's let's read here. From this. And I gave thee. This is what Nathan words, says. Words, words, sorry, I'm reading from seven. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So and da and Nathan said to David. So this is Nathan prophesying about what David, what God is saying to him. So Nathan is a prophet, by the way. He's prophesying what David is David saying to him. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I have delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I, have, I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if it had been too little, I'll, just, I'll skip past that because you need to read. Right. Wherefore hast thou, you David, despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword because he caused Uriah the Hittite to be killed. In the previous chapter, we see in chapter 11, that he actually caused Uriah the Hittite to be led into battle and to be killed. Right, let's read on. Right. Right here, thou to be killed with a sword, and has taken his wife to be thy wife, and has slain him with the sword of the children of Abner. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from thine house. So, what do we see here? God is bringing justice upon David. He's saying the sword will never, never depart from his house, right? Because thou hast despised me, and has taken the wife of Uriah, what did he do? He took the wife of Uriah and, and to be his wife. What does he say here? Yeah? Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wife before thine eyes. That's what he did. If you, if you read later on in chapter 18 of this same book, 2 Samuel, chapter 18, yeah, his own wives are given to his son Absalom, right? So his wives are taken from him the same way he took the wife of Uriah Hittite. Let's go on. Does, does say the Lord, behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives before thine eyes, and I will give them unto thy neighbour, and he shall love them. It with thy wives in the light in the sight of the sun. For thou did see it secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel. What happened is Absalom had sex with these slaves, with this concubine, sorry, not slaves, before all Israel. Literally, he was open about it. He said, Tell everybody this is happening. I'm taking what uh, I'm taking David's wife. Right. And David said unto Nathan, right? I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, the Lord also have put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. So the Lord is allowed to, in his own commandments, his own justification, to take away the sins of certain people. Remember, David is a king. He's not under the laws of the Deutero De people in Deuteronomy because he's the one who enforces the laws. As mentioned, there are covenant laws within Israel. For example, during that time, there were judges in Israel. In Deuteronomy, there were judges in Israel to judge between good and evil. Now there is a king. How do you judge a king? Nobody can judge a king. Nobody, nobody can stone him for adultery at all because he is the king. So what God has done instead, he said, I will punish you for what you did to you, Ryan Hittite. I will punish you for your sin. Your wives will be, ta your wives will be taken as compromised by other people. And the sword shall never depart from your house. Let's read this. How be it because by this deed, thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. The child also that is born of thee shall die. So even the child that David 
had made with, with Bathsheba out of adultery had um, sorry not had was basically uh, well not killed obviously but basically was removed by God basically for the actions he caused so basically all we see here is David constantly being rebuked and him being being told that all these punishments will be placed upon him based upon his actions and what he did to your wife make, make, make it bear in mind yeah bear in mind that God himself is the just lawgiver he can choose whether he inflicts a judge or he inflicts justice or not and also David is king he is not the same as a peasant during the time of Deuteronomy a peasant to be judged will be judged by judges that's what it says in Deuteronomy 1 6 they'll be judged by judges there is no judges for the king because the king is sovereign so what did God do he brings inflicts infliction uh, inflictions and punishments on them sorry I'm going to say yeah go on, go on. You made a few points here. You say the law of Moses does not fall on the king of Israel. You have to prove that from the Bible that the king is not under the law of Moses because you, that's what you okay, said. Okay, I'll show this. I, I'm not, I haven't finished. I'm just started. Uh, later on, on your own term. So you have to prove that. So David was, was not under the law of Moses. But Bathsheba was. Bathsheba fell under the law of Moses because she was not king or queen. Why Bathsheba was not stoned to death according to Deuteronomy 22 22? Secondly, if God could not punish David, what David's wife has to do with it? Why David's wife has to go and sleep with the neighbor? They were innocent. They didn't ask David to go and sleep with Bathsheba. So why they were do you, do you want to go after him more? Oh, I'm talking about No, you continue talking. I'm just talking to him. Why? No, I want you, you to listen. Go, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. So point oh, here calm is, down. <laughs> point here is, why his wives have to go and sleep with the neighbor? And listen what happened here. What David did in the secret, he committed adultery in the secret, which is a sin. And the God says, what you did in the secret, I will do it in the open of Israel. I mean, God, God uh, make it adultery open for all Israel to see. Not God going to give your wife or to marry to the other person, but he will commit adultery as you've done in secret. I will make it do in the open. I say, what kind of a just God is that? The one who's the one sinner who done the sin, he should be punished, not his wife. His wife has nothing to do with it. If God doesn't want to punish David, I can understand that he's king. But why wives have to go and sleep with the neighbor? That's not a just God. It's like saying that I am the one king and I, I cheat on my wife and I slept with the neighbor. Now my wife has to sleep with somebody else's neighbor. This is not just God. This is unjust God. God is the holy. God doesn't behave like that. And I, 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 if it's wrong to say to me... Can you throw your pain, this, please? Because it's taking too long. This is how a pimp would act and not God. So this is not a just God. Do not justify such an action of God. God will never do that. And that will are you, you going to fight your pain? And we, we do not believe, get there yet? We never believe that David committed adultery. Quran and Sunnah never says that. It's your Bible says that. And in the Bible, David should have been punished. If he wasn't are, are you, are you so, done? So, so, You're not so making so any point. God should be just. C can, I, God can I finish? Because I, 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 I actually want to speak. This is not okay, justice. so basically he says that our God is like a pimp, right? But his God in Surah 2, like 24 says that you he can literally take... Brother. That you oh, can literally no, take the, slave the, girls. That's what his God says. Says. So his God's the pimp, not ours. Let's be honest. Yeah? Anyway, he, he stated that I have to show him somewhere where the laws that, that apply to Moses do not apply to David. Basically, let's read in Deuteronomy 5 3, which you must have missed because you don't read the Bible. The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us who are all of us here alive to this day. Now, the, Deuteronomy 6 12. Now, these commandments, the statutes, the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land where you go to possess, that's the land That's the land they did possess, which is Israel, yeah? That thou mightest fear the what's Lord the thy God what's to keep... Can, 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 I, can I finish? Yeah, can I finish? Can I finish? I need to know what point Can I finish? Here. Can I finish? Okay. You must we, have forgot your own point. Because before you that, you, you no, said I, I to me, I have to find you somewhere reading, where God... You can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Are you that scared? You don't want to let me finish? Go on then. Okay. So you said to me earlier on, yeah, I have to show you somewhere. Oh, dude, what's going on? Right. Okay, so... Now. Yeah, the police report. Anyway, you said to me... Why did, I have why to show you some... You, you said to me, I have to show you somewhere where the commandments are done away with for not, uh, not for David. And I've said, look, King here, fall, yeah. this is for the Israelites. This, is, this command is given to the Israelites. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whither you go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord, 
thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee to thy son and thy son's son, son all the days of thy life. I'm, I'm reading Deuteronomy 6, 1 to 2. All right. And also, this is Deuteronomy 7 to 9, just, to, just holding the point. Now, therefore, no, therefore, that, that, no, no, that's the wrong, sorry. Oh, I don't you need know to show me. Also, also, I'll quote one verse. You need to show that me. Is, listen, yeah. Exodus 34 7 says that oh, yeah, you God, can hear. the iniquity of the fathers of the chi uh, on the children and the generations. That means if you do some iniquity, the God of the Bible will put this iniquity, this curse to your children as well as your family. So the God of the Bible is just, it's all okay, so, the Exodus. Okay, so, so, so Abbas's it's previous point, I want to get to your previous points one minute. Yeah? Abbas's previous, previous points were about the fact that, oh, why were the women taken? Why were they taken captive? This happened Not a captive. lot. They go and sleep well, the well they didn't. They didn't just go to sleep. They were taken captive. You read Deuteronomy chapter no, not Deuteronomy chapter Second Samuel chapter eight, eighteen, for example. They're literally taken captive by Absalom after he, David's kingdom is taken captive, and he's taken captive because as as um, David goes out, his, his his kingdom is taken over by Absalom through the through the pre, um, the providence of God because as God says. The sword will never depart you from your kingdom. He literally states that in the verse I just read. It isn't a problem for, for God to initiate crimes against even the people, even their, the people involved, because he will do that. That's not a problem for us at all. you're jumping the gun here. What I'm saying is, God is saying that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, you, and he does it. You slept with somebody's wife, yeah. your wife has gone and sleep with somebody else. This, I say, God don't do like that. This is not a justice of God. God can say, okay, I can punish you or I cannot punish you. But what I'm saying is, wives have no part in that. Wives are not in that sin. They didn't do nothing wrong. Why wives have to pay the price of what David has done? This is not a justice. The wives didn't pay the price. This is not what justice. happened? Through the providence of God, if you read Deuteronomy no, 18, it's it not is providence. providence. Because this God himself, no, no, you're going to listen to God, God himself God did not take this, their wives and say, I'm giving them to Absalom. No, no, no. Yes, he allowed, yes, that's what he he allowed, yes, that's exactly he allowed what he David's kingdom to be taken over by Absalom and therefore his wives were taken as concubines. That, is the doing that was God. the punishment. As God says, the sword shall not depart again. from you your kingdom. You are ignoring this verse, what it clearly says. God says this, thus says the Lord, this is his will. Behold, I will raise up evil against you out of your own house. Exactly. And I will take your wives before your eyes and give them to your neighbor. It's so providence. Who's, who's giving to the neighbor? Is it God giving Divine to the neighbor? Divine providence. It's, Remember, it's not a providence. if you read, the, if you read that, in context, God Abbas, is not saying that, Second that Samuel that going to 18, God right? I isn't God that. that's lifting the wives out and putting them this into Absalom's the house? God. No. This is the work of no. God. No. Well, yeah, obviously, I, I believe it's the work of God. And give it to your neighbor. And you but you're not, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I believe it's the work of God. I did not deny it was the work of God. That's the will of God. I believe it's the work of God. Because God said he would do that. So my question is, why God done that to his wife? But why is that why? unjust? Why, does, why is it unjust? Is not, why because, is it unjust for David's property and his kingdom be taken? No. Bearing in mind, because, I want everybody to bear in mind because. that he stole Uriah the Hittite's wife. He took her, he had sex with her and he had a child with her. It's evil. So evil. the same judgment no, that was done evil. on him no. was placed upon him. No, it's, it's not a problem. No, it's not his evil. wife was taken, it's, so it's therefore like, David's wife was like, taken. It's, it's not like, a problem for us. It's like if I punch somebody, that person will punch my wife. That is not justice. I should have received the punch back. That is the justice. My wife has nothing to do with it. In the same way, David's wife has nothing to do with it. And remember what I said. David, God said, what you done in secret, I will make it do happen in open. What David done in the secret? He commit adultery, a sin in secret. And what did David so do? Say, he stole another man's get, wife. I'm going to happen in the in the open. So the God same thing was is, done to David that he did thing. to another so, person. So, that is not a problem for our religion. So, you keep getting it wrong, so, I burst. So You're going to have to try again. So God, uh, what do you call it? The word is, God is make mm. that sin happen in the open. I mean, what kind of a God is making this kind of so a, you, adultery taking place okay, in the so open? God says he will reveal those things in the hiding place. Abbas, Abbas That's what he says in the Bible. Not God no, has problem. a problem that David did a wanna, sin go, go, go. and David took the wife of David's and gave to other. That yes. is the God of Bible who does justice. But and Abbas, justice. that's the justice because I read you as the chapter Exodus where God says, what? God curses the generation. If Adam did that's sin, we too. are in sin also that's because too. that is the sin of generation. Uh, so you have a problem. Listen, listen, you have a problem. David's wife was taken 
from David because David did a sin, but you don't have a problem. Muhammad took his own son's wife and slept with her. Why? How come your God is justice? How come your God is justice? My God is justice. I will answer this question. My God, let me listen, see. listen, let me listen. Let me explain. Don't, then, don't listen. hide behind Islam. No, no I'm not hiding behind Islam. Be, be, you don't want to speak about Islam. Faith. Listen, 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 listen. He have a problem. How come the God of Bible take David's wife and give to other? I said that is the justice no. because David did the same thing with others. David's God of the Bible is just. And like God your God who gives his who son's wife to Muhammad and said you can sleep with him and you don't have problem with that. Sinner? Is the David the sinner or his wife the sinner? David okay. as well as his so, generation. So why, the God is, why, God give curse to generation. Okay. Read the, Exodus the punish, chapter. The punishment, so, of, punishment of adultery did, okay, punishment what? of adultery in Deuteronomy 22, 22 oh, is man. stoned to death. Bathsheba should be stoned to death. <laughs> David should be stoned to death. Instead of David stoned to death, the punishment of God is that David, you go to live, you have your kingdom, and you're going to get your kingdom back again. But your wives have to go and sleep with their neighbor. Remember, his wife who sleep with Absalom, and David took back again his kingdom back. David was king again. So there was punishment over David was. So he was still a king, still alive, long live. Long so, 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 and his wife has to go and sleep with the neighbor. Can't you? Why don't you the complete? I'm answering you. Listen. Why don't you comprehend one simple thing? Why don't you comprehend one simple thing? One point. His wife has nothing to do with it. Why his wife has to go and sleep with the neighbor and commit adultery? That is not a God. God doesn't behave like that. God should punish the sinner. Now you say, you say Exodus 34 says, the iniquity of the fathers will follow the children. Mm. I say that's also unjust. That's unjust. That's unjust, of course. Okay. Not unjust. That's unjust. God does not bring the sin to the children. He shouldn't. Because your Ezekiel chapter 20 says why, why, the why? sins of the fathers will not follow the, no, the children. So there's a contradiction <laughs> in the Bible. One place says how, how, how come? the sins of the fathers. Abbas, the, how can you speak about sin? How can you speak about sin when it in your hadith it says that Allah has put the sin in uh, Adam's life 40 years before so, Muhammad so, was, Adam was born? So you can't answer so, the question. No, no, I'm answering you. you. you I'm answering by you your logic. You can't because you can't I answered you, David did sin. Listen, listen. Let me answer. Islam, I'm not let me answer. Bible. No, no, let me answer. You are running to Bible. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. You have a problem that why did God give David's wife to others? That's wrong. Because that, that's wrong. Of course wrong. So Allah is wrong. But Allah is wrong when Muhammad gave fight with our unbelievers and took their wives. That is also injustice. No, no, why, why is that not, If this is injustice, that okay. is also injustice. Have, have we done with your... You can't answer the question. No, no I, have I have answered you. I have answered you. I have answered you. Let, 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 let people judge. Okay, yeah, come, let if, people if the God of the Bible is injustice judge. for you, giving you, David's wife to others, God of Quran is also injustice by taking other wives and giving to Muhammad and his companion. That is also sin. and I'm going to answer as a Muslim. From the Quran and Islam and Hadith, but it's you're clear, it's clear that you run towards Islam. No, your I'm question. No, no, your yeah, you are. No, you ask this question, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the, the thing you said about uh, Christianity. Otherwise, you wouldn't be running to Islam. So your no, question. No Christianity. Was, so why, no, you say why was his son? You said that earlier. Yeah. Why yeah. was his son? Yeah. His son, Muhammad Sallam, got it. What's wrong with that? So it's not wrong no, to no, sleep with your daughter-in-law. No, no. Daughter-in-law. Yeah. Did he sleep with the daughter-in-law? He didn't sleep. He didn't sleep. She was ex-wife of his son-in-law. Son. -in-law. son. So, no, no, his ex. His adopted son. Adopted son. What was his name? Ex-wife. What was his name? So, what was the name of the Zen. son? Zen. Yeah. What was the wife's name? Zen. Zen. Okay. Yeah. So you you are, you are okay so with so so Muhammad so sleep with his son's wife? He didn't. He didn't sleep. Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Ex-wife is not a wife. So, so, when you say about wife, okay. you must say she was the ex-wife. So, so, so she was available for anyone to marry now. Okay, so, so he married with her. He, he didn't just sleep with her. He married with her. So he didn't sleep with his wife. Uh, I'll let you two finish so, and I want to ask you. He didn't sleep with his son's wife. Mm -hmm. You're wrong there. He slept. Ex-wife. Ex-wife of his adopted son. Okay, okay. I got reason. it. Okay. Yeah. So isn't it unjustice with Zainad, the Zayed, because Zayed, the woman which he was sleeping with her, which he saw naked, uh, yeah. and after a few days he's calling him mother. 
Mama, Mama. Spiritually. <laughs> so now he's learning spiritually. When did Islam start believing spirituals? When did Islam start believing spirituality? So, listen, 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 listen. Don't check. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. We call them. We call them as the spiritual so, our mothers, like because they were they are the wives of the prophet. So spiritually they they are, but, but not not literally. She was not his literal mother. The point here is that when he slept with with Zainab, mother. when we slept with Zainab, he married her. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong in Islam to marry somebody's ex-wife. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Even even your son's wife. Why, why, why do you think that's wrong? Why I will tell you because according to the law of Moses. Yeah, according to the law of Moses, in Deuteronomy, said you should not sleep with your daughter-in-law because the daughter-in-law is like your own daughter. Mm -hmm. Treat her with like your own daughter. Okay. So why you are trying to say that Allah said and Muhammad did? He slept with his uh, ex. Uh, so why the, law of Moses uh, applied on Muhammad? Because Muhammad Moses is mentioned law, in Quran. Law, you are not follower of Moses. According to you, are you, you not follower of Moses? According to me, no. No, no I'm quoting Torah. I'm Torah. We don't follow the law of Moses. We don't follow the law. Of Moses. We don't follow the law. Thank you. Listen, <laughs> we don't follow the law of Moses. Thank you. Do you follow the law of Jesus? We don't. We follow the law of Jesus. The law of Moses is only for the Jew. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He give us a law for all mankind. Okay. So the so the law of blood relation between Muhammad and his son and law. Brother, one second. You see how hypocrite you are. No, I'm not hypocrite. Simple. You say Muhammad Shallallahu Alaihi Wasallam should follow the law. Moses. Hmm. Earlier you say David should not follow under the fall under the law of Moses. No, no because, 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 because we believe in the new covenant. So we don't believe in the so, old covenant. So, so David didn't. We say Muhammad Sallallahu was the prophet of God. He's more than a king. He okay. was the prophet of God. Okay. So why should he follow the law of Moses? Yeah, David even, was a prophet of God. Even though, yeah, yeah. Even this is though, what I mean. It's not even though yeah, according to you, so, so thanks. So you, thanks. Even you don't. So thanks for proving my point. So when it comes to Bible, the God of Bible punishes his own prophet David for doing adultery. But when it comes to Islam, it doesn't punish. Allah doesn't. Punish his own you prophet for doing Muslim. adultery. That I'm is here. the difference I'm between here. God of I'm Bible here. and God I'm of here. Islam. I'm you here. prove from your I'm own here. mouth, uh, uh, Abbas, that you said the God of the Bible punishes the prophets uh, himself for doing adultery. We accept it. We don't say no. Yes, but when it comes to Islam, unjust. your prophet is yes, sleeping unjust. with his own son's what, what wife you and you saying wrong. it is okay. Wrong. Now, wrong. why? Ex-wife is adopted son. So, 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 okay, okay, okay. Ex-wife. Okay, ex-wife. Okay, ex okay, ex so, 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 listen, listen, listen. So, listen. So, are you, are you, are you trying to say? No, listen. Bro, 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 bro. your God sleeping with somebody. Listen, 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 listen. No, so, say. Zayed was son. calling. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Listen, ah. listen, 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 <laughs> listen. So Zayed was calling Zainab, his wife. He usually he did sex with her. He saw her naked, and when Muhammad married Zainab, they started calling Zainab Mama, Mama. Oh, what an excuse! Ah, so show me the here, right? for example. No, no, for example, a man. Or or a ma no? I want you to show me. So she's not her no, mother. No, no. no so she's not her mother. You said he called her Mama, Mama. Okay, okay. Show me. So, so, so. Are we saying Muhammad is the father we, of Zaid? We, 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 we saying Muhammad is father of Zaid? Not, not real father. He's, not he's father. father or no? He he's the adopted father or no? Adopted father. Yeah. So adopted father's wife is who? No, but he was not adopted. adopted father's wife is who? He was not adopted to them. Adopted no, father's no, no. wife is who? I'm answering you. Adopted I'm father's I'm wife is who? I'm answering you. <laughs> I'm answering you. At that time, uh, uh, that he, time. He was not his son anymore, adopted son anymore. Uh, he was not. Sorry? He oh. was adopted son and Allah so said, gay. they are not your son. He was not, not adopted son. Anymore. He, was so a, he was a free man at that time and he was not his adopted son who anymore. Who was a free man? But Zayd. This talks he was, about like he's a slave. He, he was his son. He was a slave. Yeah. Then he adopted him and he freed him as well. And then he, he was not his son. No. He never called Zainab Mama Mama as you say. No. But do you know who Zainab if was? If Zainab called his Papa Papa. Do you know who Zainab was? Mm. You know who Zainab was to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He was his uh, sister's wife, uh, sister's uh, uh, he was daughter. His cousin. Cousin, yeah. He was a cousin of Muhammad Sassan. So thank you for agreeing. You can marry your cousin also. Yes. So you can marry your cousin. You can marry your daughter-in-law. And they don't have relation when you marry with them. Thank you. Thanks for proving God of Bible is not the God of Quran. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Who say you can't marry your cousin? Are you are saying you marry your cousin? What's wrong with marrying your cousin? Your cousin is not your sister. What's wrong?
Dur! Şu an şu an şu an Kazan zamanı ya ses ses. Listen! Kazan. Oh no! So, even so Abbas, Abbas, sorry to say, sorry to say Abbas, why should, listen, as a Christian, listen, Abbas, Abbas, listen, no, you are lost, Muhammad was lost, listen, 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 bro, 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 listen, listen, why should I, why should I allow any Muslim man to enter in my house when they themselves, when they themselves consider their cousins as wife? Why? Why should I enter? Why should I love you people? Because you people, you people, you said that you can marry your cousins. If you, if you can marry your own cousins, own daughter-in-law, why should we agree? No, I'm making sense. I'm making sense. I'm making, I'm making sense. I don't understand Chinese. I don't understand Chinese. No, no, I'm not being racist. I'm not. You, you came here. No, no, he came in one top race. No, no, no. He said, no, he said. What is it? Oh my God! Okay. I'll stop shaking. You stop being Muslim. You stop being Muslim. Oh, well, that's the problem then, is it? Because then I can't stop shaking. If you're not Muslim, you want to continue? Oh, you want to continue? Oh, you want to continue? Yeah, yeah. Calm down. I want to what Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is God, my friend. You need to have respect. Yeah, yeah, even basic bro. Basic oh, man, you talk about biology, then you look crazy. Come on. Biology, if you look like crazy. Come on. Biology, you look like crazy. Come on. And then you lot get all like lost. Okay, Abbas. Oh, no, no, no. Abbas, well, we are actually talking to Abbas. So if, if, if you want to come round, Abbas. I can't, I can't stop it, but yeah, yeah, I was, I was Yeah, yeah, because we're we having a conversation, these guys came in. Why, why, why would you let me in your house? <laughs> right, we're going to attack you. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I didn't say that. I said that, why should I allow, allow any of your people? Sorry, yeah, yeah, give it to him, give it to him. Yeah. Put your voice down. Why should you, yeah. Yeah. Why should you allow people to enter in your house? Why? Because you don't consider your cousins as a cousin. You don't consider your daughter-in-law as a daughter-in-law. So if see, cousins are not no. Only in Islam. No, no. Ask any religion. When you say daughter-in-law, show me. Okay. It was not his daughter-in-law. Okay. His adopted son. I don't. So I don't understand his blood. His blood. In Islam, as real sons, well, ex-wife, you cannot marry. But he was not his real son. You must understand that. So I was his adopted son. That was not his. So let me ask you. Am I your brother? Sir? Am I your brother? In humanity, yes. So why should I trust you? In why should I trust you as a brother? No, no, because because, because you know I can't trust you. Because, 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 because if because in humanity you are son yeah, from yeah, Adam, yeah, you are from Adam, yeah, and I'm from that's Adam. false yeah. thing. That's false thing. That's false thing. You said the verse. I'm reading the verse. That's a false thing. You what you're reading? Teri madi penchor. Teri madi penchor. Teri madi. Teri madi. Teri madi penchor. Penchor. Okay. Now your Bible says you should not allow non-Christians into your house. You should not breed. No, 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 non-Christian. Yes. I can trust my Hindu friend because I know in their well, religion. Christian or Hindu? Why? Huh? Christian or Hindu? Bible says. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. The one who doesn't come with the same teaching. Uh huh. Are non-Christians, are they? <laughs> they oh, let him be a course. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for proving my point. You don't come with the same teaching. Exactly. The Hindu does the Hindu come with the same teaching? No. Exactly. So, so but uh, they are far better than you, my brother. That's what I said. They are far better. I can trust better. him when he comes your in my house. Bible, Why should I? Your Bible says, 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 love your neighbor as your yourself. Your Bible says, so if I love my neighbor as myself, I don't let him. Your Bible says, anyone can come with a different teaching. My enemy. It applies to Muslim. Yeah, exactly. Muslim. God bless you. You are. You are so friendly. So friendly. You do not allow a Muslim in your house. This no, 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 where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. So we are talking about how Pakistan. friendly you Pakistan people are. Indian. That huh? if I don't come with the same Indian teaching, Indian Asian look, Asian look same. Where you go? Where you are? Muslim as well. Yeah. No. Can I just let you answer that question? I'm not. I'm not so stupid to be a Muslim. Okay. So um, basically, what? This is a bit. Oh, come on. So basically, I first said earlier, and it's a bit louder here, but I said earlier that basically, oh, why, why is it, 
what, what is just about oh, sorry, what is just about the Amalekites not the Amalekites about David but, um, taking your wife's wife and kidnapping what you have to understand is David was punished as I mentioned before David was punished when, it's, when, when, when God says that the sword will not depart from your house and then literally after that, after that in, the, in the next five chapters all you see is David's own sons being killed for example his son his son, I can't remember the name, but son, it, three of his sons were killed. His daughter, Tamar, I think his name uh, Tamar was, she was raped by her own um, brother. And all you see is that we, we fought, sorry, am I, yeah. All you see is a, a constant calamity, calamities befalling David, right? We have to understand that the Bible is to be taken in context and not to be read outside of it, right? And when we read what he did to Uriah, he didn't exactly, um, David didn't exactly kill you, right? But he did, in chapter 11 of 2 Samuel, allow Uriah to be killed based on the premise that he was jealous about um, um, Bathsheba, no, about Uriah being Bathsheba's wife, right? You have to take this into context when you read the Bible. You can't just read the Bible out of context like a bass and claim that it's unfair what happened in regards to the people's wife being taken. Understand that God is judge, just. And he brings the iniquities on, on the next generation of those who hate him, right? That's what it says in um, Deuteronomy. Bearing that in mind, I think it's fair enough to say that if if if, if certain person's wife is taken, cap, is, is taken or taken from another person, right? It's fair enough to say that that person's wives or concubines should be taken as well. And that's what happens in chapter 18 with Absalom. Isn't Thank a you, problem? Raphael. Let's, let's give a chance to wrap yeah, up. Wrap My up. problem in 2 Samuel is this. If God is just, then the God should not punish the innocent person. Here, David commits sin. And according to Deuteronomy 22, 22, the adulterer should be stoned to death. And David fall under the law of Moses. He was an Israelite. So does Bathsheba. So my question is, if they commit adultery, they should be stoned to death. Not his wife should go and sleep with his neighbor. What kind of a God is giving the wives of the sinner to go and do more sin with the neighbor. So this, I say, is unjust God, and I cannot believe in such a God who is so unjust in taking the innocent people. But punish, the, <laughs> punish, punish David. If you don't want to punish David, what his wives has to do with it? So this was the will of God. Is the, God is not prophesying that's going to happen. He said, I will do it. What you done in the secret, adultery, I will make it happen in the open, adultery. Because he said, what you done, I will do as well. So God does not uh, make adultery to happen. The wives are totally innocent. It's like this, as I said. If I commit adultery with a neighbor, the judge say, okay, you are a naughty boy. Now your wife has to go and sleep with the neighbor. This is really blasphemy against God. And this, this is why I reject Bible. The God could never do that. God is holy. He will never do that. This is the work of demon and the word of men enter in the Bible. And that's why Bible, it doesn't make sense. It's just totally, just it's just nonsensical. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Give it to him. Give it to him. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you, um, um, okay. Abbas. All right. Nice to you, man. Nice to meet you, man. It's yeah. good to meet you. So, 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 Abbas made a point that the God of the Bible is unjust. But in fact, the God of the Bible is not unjust. It's just, if you read the Genesis chapter, God says the curse will be whoever denies God and whoever doesn't follow the laws of God, the curse will be upon his him as well as his generation. It's also mentioned in the Exodus and also in the Samuels. God did the same thing when he punished David for being unjustice with his colleague or with his partner and God punished David as well as his family. So that shows the God of the Bible is just, not unjust, unlike Abbas God, Allah, who tells Muhammad to sleep with his daughter-in-law, unlike Muhammad's God who tells you can take, uh, you can sleep with your uh, sex slaves, you can uh, marry as many women as you can, uh, and you can do sex with other women without uh, marrying them. So this shows the God of the Bible is not of the God of the Quran. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Fire! Yes, it's bro. Thank you, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean! Ah, he's right here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. You want to do a wrap up? What's up? Big wrap up? I he wasn't really involved in the conversation. You want me to wrap up as well? No, no, no. I like to wrap up.